Hello, welcome to this league match against Johns. I'm your humble protagonist, Shaunahan. I'm currently six wins, six losses in my division, which is pretty good for the division I'm in. Um, very difficult, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully, can keep keep up that pace. You know, maybe try to get a four two at some point, or just keep going three three. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, we got a five two here in this kingdom, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, we have the squirrel ride, etc. Um, Villa Squirrel is actually quite nice, but I think I would rather get an apprentice to start trashing, and then I can pick up a druid, and then I can, um, earth gift Villa Squirrel stuff. Um, I think getting an apprentice into the shuffle is pretty nice. <sighs> Let me stare at this for a moment longer. So... If I buy a Villa and Squirrel it, I'm probably going to draw four money next turn, which doesn't really get me where I need to go. So I think Apprentice, just to start thinning the estates, is going to be good. Um, yeah, and I will get a Druid now. Um, would certainly have rather... Um, would rather have a thing I could trash here, but so I can play the Druid... Play the Earth's Gift to gain Villa. And then I can play the Villa, squirrel this, and I've got three, which I guess I will buy an amulet to start trashing. It's really awkward price points. Next turn, I'm just going to have four. Which is awkward, I'll do the squirrel trick. Yeah, they buy an apprentice and are able to squirrel it and find it. So perhaps I'm just losing here right away. Um, maybe I, I should have opened Villa, but then I'm just yeah, behind a second player. So I don't I don't really know. Um, I'm hoping to find Hoping to find my apprentice with an estate so I can start trashing. And I guess the villas just all go away. And then we start playing them as squirrels for real. But the fact that my apprentice missed the states is really, really sad on turn three. Um, it could have been on turn four. But if I didn't see it on turn three, then I can squirrel something and get it on turn four. Horses might be nice with ride once we, once we get to that point of the game. Um as you can play the villa and then play the horse as a squirrel and keep the horses around forever. Um, this is kind of a nasty draw here for me. Just not quite hitting, hitting good things together. Um, yeah. Well, I'll definitely gain a villa here. I can even gain a villa, play a villa, buy a villa, squirrel it, something like that. Um, de pretty decent chance to hit Apprentice with uh, the state, get an uh, amulet going. But they're pretty far ahead as we speak at this moment. All right. Um. Villa, buy a villa and squirrel it. So I assume they're going to get at least one villa here, potentially two. I'm about to trigger what is not a great shuffle, but I've got two villas, three coppers in there. Maybe this is a terrible shuffle, uh, but I can always play the villa buy two villas and squirrel them, something like that, depending on what I what I draw. I do think I just need to keep thinning here. Did they not play any squirrels last turn? They did. Okay, they played one squirrel. Right. Apprentice trashing in the state does not actually increase your hand size. It just cycles two cards through and makes your deck better. So I have four coppers, two estates, two villas, 
two states, two villas, four coppers. This is a really bad shuffle to, to have have going here, but I can't very well not trigger it. Play amulet to gain a coin, buy a villa, and then squirrel two. Um, just doesn't seem, I'm most likely to draw a copper, say. And then if I draw a copper, I can play Play Villa, Amulet for Coin, Buy a Villa. I think I'm just losing if I don't like high roll here. Um, thinning Estates seems really important. Um, I can't actually get two, two Villas this turn, so I can Apprentice an Estate. Uh, Bottom card here. I do know what the bottom card is. Let me check that. Um, I drew three coppers this turn. I played four coppers, two states, drew last turn. So the bottom card should be a villa, um, which should enable me to squirrel two things. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So we can play a villa, trash a copper, buy a villa, squirrel two villas. Uh, trash, squirrel, and then we can buy a villa and squirrel that. And that'll at least draw us through most of the crap. We can get another trash off and progress from here. So that was a good draw drawing a villa at the top there. Let me squirrel an extra villa. My next hand does not have any estates in it, but I do have villas potentially that I can trash to apprentice. Uh, Amulet's definitely going to trash an estate here. Um, I assume they're going to get this last villa, so I have to decide what I want to do with that. Um, getting a couple of rides seems pretty decent. I also grab a hideout that will help with the thinning. So I play a druid, discard, um, discard a copper to gain a hideout. Um, And then squirrel this, um, squirrel this last villa. I can even buy something else. I just buy two rides. Um, so we will discard a copper to gain a hideout, and then buy two rides. And hopefully, we don't have to play any of those horses ever. Um, naturally, although looking at this starting hand, that may be the case. So what do they have that I don't? I believe they have one extra villa. Is that correct? They have the one extra apprentice, and they've thinned, um, thinned him coppers, it looks like. So they're at least starting from, from a position where they have a little bit more. Um, I think I am just going to end up playing these horses here. I would rather squirrel villas. So I can always buy more horses later. Um, The extra coppers are a little bit annoying, but not like the end of the world. I can check here, gains a villa. So search for J buys and gains a villa, there's five. And if I search for S, there's three. Um, and then there's two with Druid. So we actually ended up splitting the villa split um, and they've trashed one already. So um, for whatever that's worth, I've got an extra extra villa potentially that I can use. I'm probably going to end up trashing it here. Um, I do have the hideouts, the hideout within coppers. Um, the hideout will also let me squirrel horses potentially. Um, squirreling the amulet's interesting. I assume they probably want to play the amulet. Start thinning more, um, potentially buy something nice. Coven. Coven is pretty nice. Um, we'll trash that. All right, well, we'll squirrel two of those. So we start the turn by drawing, and we have copper, amulet, villa, hideout, 
druid down there. So another ride seems good to get the horse stuff going. And then uh, Coven to keep up with the curses. It's a little bit of payload. Or I could elect to say I don't believe in the Covens and want to get something else. But I think it, like I could, I could go with Fool's Golds, but I think I need to get myself thin first. And it's going to be tough to get thin if they're attacking me regularly. So here I've got one horse. I used both my horses last turn. Oh no, I should have another horse in my deck. Hmm. So I'll play this hideout first to trash your copper, play the horse if I need to, and then figure out where I want to go from there. Um, the druid can actually be pretty nice with fool's gold. We'll see if that's, that's what they like to do. They've thinned most of their coppers. Part of that is just due to me having to skip playing the apprentice a couple of times early due to the draws. Um, and bottom decking both my trashers last turn was a little bit sad. We will see. All right, so I'm going to play this horse, and it looks like I want to play this horse as well. I don't really want to leave both the Coven and the um, Apprentice down at the bottom. Kill an estate, play a Coven. Okay. So, um, bottom two cards are probably coppers. Um, so I can play a villa. I can druid gain a... Uh, I'm just going to play at least one villa. Probably end up playing two because I need the village effect if I want to play the druid. What can Druid do for me? Druid can gain for me a... Um, I can use the Druid potentially to gain a Fool's Gold, or I can just trash a Gold, trash a Copper here. And... Looks like the game is ending pretty quickly. A fool's Gold Pile can run really quickly. Curse Pile will run really quickly. So I can trash a Copper here. Um, or I can play... I can not even play the Amulet. I can trash a Copper. Um, I can play three squirrels, but I think I want to trash a copper. Um, and then I want to squirrel the druid for draw. So that's nine. I can either follow suit on the fool's golds, which gets them a lot of money pretty quickly. It's worth five money to them. Or I can go like Coven Ride and claim that um, I'm going to give them a bunch of curses and the game is going to end before they have a chance to use them. Um, I should have one more Villa at the bottom of the deck. So I should actually have Villa Copper down there. Um, and I'd like to be playing Villas and um, ride a squirrel. Um, how do I feel about that? So they're going to hit eight next turn pretty easily, potentially nine with, and they could start provincing. Um, I'm not that far away from provincing with the Villas and the, Coven money, um, but they can wrap up payload much quicker with the Fool's Golds is the concern, and I'm not thin enough really to get that going. So I'm going to do Coven Ride this turn and hope I'm able to catch up in time. It's a pretty decent starting hint. Um, it does look like I'm going to need to play this horse, but I um, can always apprentice the horse for a little more draw if need be. Um, plan is just to get them curses into their deck quickly, I guess. It's, but, I mean, this is a second player, and the 4-3 was a little bit awkward. Um, I guess I could have just done the same line they did with a second player. It seemed better to Apprentice, and obviously if I draw Apprentice turn 3 or 4 with a state, um, my deck is in much, much better shape. I don't think this is most of the stuff that I want to draw. I guess I really want to draw the um, the other coven to be able to play both covens this turn. Um, and then... I guess I just apprentice the horse. Um, 
They played Apprentice on their Coven. That's interesting. So they're just not going to go for the Curses stuff. They're going to go for Fool's Golds, most likely. Um, and just try to province faster than me. And I can curse them. Very interesting. Is this a province, too? The second Apprentice is really nice. Um, yeah, it just seems really difficult to get them as many Fool's Gold, as many... Um, it's difficult to give me give as many curses as I want to give them. All right, so I'm going to continue my plan of thinning and play the horse, I guess. I also apprentice the horse. Um, or I can just play Villa Villa. Um, how many cards are in the deck? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cards in the deck. Um, so if I play four things, I draw everything. And I think I just want to apprentice this horse now for maximum draw. Um, excellent. So five, six. So I can play two of these as a squirrel. And I can play the Druid as a squirrel, or I can play it as uh, one of the boons. One of the boon good boons. Forest, sky, earth. Play as earth. I mean, like, I can empty a fool's golds without that much difficulty. Um, I think. I'm also, I'm also hitting them with a lot of curses. So I can also just, yeah, take the, play this as a squirrel, buy another coven ride, and try to just get them all the curses over two turns, and then buy a province, um, buy a province next turn and hope they have one dud. Not quite sure if that's realistic, but. They're having to trash their components they do have a lot of villas still so like they should be able to do i assume they're just going to play a ton of fool's golds here and buy like double province okay yeah um that's not super easy for me to combat but we'll see what we can do i think i want to draw the rest of my cards so this amulet can go And just buy myself one province and then try to win next turn somehow. Um, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So four of these will just draw the whole deck. Um, gets me to eleven. Yeah, I do need to buy a province to stay in scope. They have something. Oh, they have full skills in hand. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't, my plan was not great, I think, but at least I have, uh, a bit of a chance here, especially if they run out of fuel, um, to play squirrels and stuff. And it's tough though, because the villas are the all the pieces they need. Yeah, they can just double province here. Um, again, I would suspect, um, it's going to take me two turns to empty the curses. Perhaps I need to buy another coven. No. I don't think this was ever going to work. My plan, I'm also lowering piles really aggressively with this plan. Um, I may only play two covens here, but I do need to buy a province. Um, they have a druid and a bunch of buys, so like it's actually not that difficult for them to empty, empty piles next turn. Um, you know, The Fool's Gold stuff, I think, was objectively better, but they were also thinner than me in the head, so... That made sense for them to do. Um, okay. So I'm just going to buy one province and then hope that good stuff works out. Um, and I will discard a treasure to gain a 
Dismantle. That's a card that I can potentially use. Um, Gardens is not going to ever be worth enough points. Um, I'm supposed to take another Druid. Um, that gives me some potential like pile pressure. If they miss double province here, which is pretty unlikely, but um, you know, we'll see what they come up with. Um, yeah, just like an apprentice trash anything. Um, I don't know. Just my turn three draw, I felt was pretty pretty bad um, as things go, and they were able to ramp up their deck faster than me. And if I hadn't had the th turn three draw, I would have been at least more competitive. Um, that being said, they had a good plan and they converted really nicely. Um, I don't think me mirroring them with full bolts is gonna gonna do much for me. I think it would have played out the same. Um, so um, gave myself a shot, maybe, but maybe I didn't have any shot and I should have just mirrored. Um, hard to say. Um, down I one. Uh, moving on to game two.